Welcome, it's time to get crafty again with Chalk Couture. This time we're using Couture ink. So I'm going to use the black on the project today, which is this flower pot. But there is a ton of different colors. Here's a pink, here's an aqua, like tons of different colors that you can play with in the Couture ink. So I'm going to teach you how to use it and then how to make it permanent. And then you can use it on a variety of surfaces. So today we're making the flower pot, but you could use this on fabric, just metal, just about any surface, and make it permanent. Today we're going to use a chalk couture transfer and couture ink to create some custom flower pots. So the supplies you'll need are the flower pots themselves, and I've coated these with two coats of a good quality white outdoor paint. You can use whatever color paint you would like here. And then I have some couture ink. you also need a squeegee, a star stick for your couture ink, and your transfer. Now, I'm using the Live Life in Full Bloom transfer. Now, as you can see, I've already cut this apart. I've actually used this transfer before. So the beauty of Chalk Couture is these transfers can be used 12 or more times on your projects, so you can use them over and over again. So I also have a few supplies for cleanup. I have some Clorox wipes, as well as a bin full of water over to the side. So you don't want to let this Couture ink dry on your transfer because it is permanent. And you'll also need to heat set it, so you can put the pots in the oven to heat set them after you're complete. So let's get started. So we're going to start with the words onto the pot, and you just want to peel the transfer from the backing paper. Now, as you're peeling the transfer, you want to be sure to peel it either side to side or top to bottom, so you don't stretch the transfer. And then I have just a plain bath towel. So this just fuzzes the back of the transfer for the adhesive to make sure it's not too strong, as it might pull my paint away. So now this flower pot is curved and the stencil itself is square so I'm going to kind of put it at an angle and you just want to make sure there are no bubbles in the transfer where the writing is. I like to take my squeegee and just go over it one good time to make sure I don't get any bubbles or any areas that are not secure. Now, as I said, this Couture ink is permanent, so you want to make sure not to get any ink outside of your transfer area. To do that, you can just be really careful, or you can take painter's tape and just go next to those areas just to ensure that you don't get any of that ink anywhere on the pot where you do not want it to go. So I'm going to be extremely careful and put this on four sides. You could not use it at all or just use it where you feel that the words are too close to the edge. Alright, so now our transfer is stuck, secured well, the edges are all covered with painter's tape, and just be sure to squeegee this down really well in all directions, especially if you've used the transfer, transfer before, just to make sure that it's adhered well. Now we're just going to open the Couture ink and give it a good stir. Now, this stuff is permanent, so anything that you get it on, be sure to wipe it up right away, or like in the case of this old towel, I wouldn't necessarily be worried about it, so it would be okay. Definitely be cautious about getting it on your clothes or anything like that. Alright, so now we just want to stir the couture ink. It may have settled during shipment or when you're storing it, so be sure to pull up from the bottom and give it a good stir. Then we'll just want to dollop it on the transfer. Any excess can be put back in the container and used for another project. 
then just use your squeegee to pull it across your transfer. And we'll drop any excess ink back into the container. Use caution with this stuff. Do not allow it to dry onto your transfer. <clears throat> and it can actually, especially with the darker colors like this black, it can actually stain your transfer, but that is okay. Um, as long as you get it good and clean after you use it, the staining will not transfer to your next project. I actually kind of like to use a, in addition to the Clorox wipe, use a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser on my transfers to get them as clean as possible when using the ink especially. Alright, so move, remove as much of that excess as possible. And you also want to clean both your stir stick and your squeegee. You can use a disinfecting wipe or you can just drop them into a um, tub full of water until you have time to clean them. And first we're going to remove all that tape. Then just make sure your hands are nice and clean and no ink is on those. And then you can peel up your transfer. Again, you want to peel side to side or top to bottom, not diagonally or to the corner. And just peel up that transfer to reveal your design. And I'm going to drop it right into some water to keep that ink from drying. Now you may have some areas that were messed up. A great tool is just a Q-tip dipped in water to remove any of those carefully. Just, just be really cautious. But you can remove any of those areas that are messed up. And now that my project is complete, I can clean my transfer well. So it's been sitting in some water over to the side. And this is just one of those Clorox wipes. And that is actually with all the ink removed. And you can see the staining that's left on the transfer. This actually will not hurt anything. But of course we want our transfers to be as pretty as possible. So what I've done, especially with the darker inks, is to use just a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser on the front only and just remove some of that staining. And it seems to work good, especially if you get it right away and don't let that sit in. So just rub it around the stain portions to remove any of that staining. And then continue to clean on the front and back with your Clorox wipes as recommended. And then we'll allow it to dry sticky side up before returning to that backing paper for storage. Again, these transfers can be used over and over again, 12 times or more. Um, I think the company guarantees 12 times, and then you can definitely use them more times after that. But I just get a majority of the staining off. Then use a clean Clorox wipe. Once more, just to make sure there's nothing left. And then we'll get that back good and clean, reactivating that adhesive with the Clorox wipe. Then once it's allowed to dry, adhesive side up, it'll be nice and sticky once again. And you can put it back on the backing paper and it'll be ready for storage and ready for use to use again anytime you want to create another, say, flower pot or chalk art or just anything else that you can imagine with Chalk Couture. So now we've made our flower pot and all that's left to do is heat set it. 350 degrees in the oven, Fahrenheit that is, for about 30 minutes and this ink will be permanent and ready to add a plant in and add to your front porch, back porch, wherever for decor this summer. So be sure to pick up Couture ink in a wide variety of colors as well as the transfers to go along with this project. 
to create your own. Remember, the transfers are reusable, so you can make these for yourself and for guests, as well as tons of other projects. So if you have any questions, be sure to ask them in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe for tons of chalk couture and other crafty goodness every week. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Bye.